Hello everybody. In my previous video, I talked about why generating qualified leads can literally revolutionize your business. Now I know that's a strong word, but it absolutely can. Now I'm gonna follow up with how do you generate leads that can convert into sales to revolutionize your business or your business sales. Welcome to the Martial Arts of Sales. My name is Paul Cruz. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day and fantastic evening because it's evening time right now while I'm recording this video. So in the opening monologue, I'm gonna share with you what we're gonna talk about in the topic. Now, the title of the topic is how to generate qualified leads that not only convert into sales, but will revolutionize your business sales. Now, before we dig into that, let me just give you a, an outline of this. Um, one of the things you have to understand is leads is the bloodline of every business. Now, I'm speaking to you small business owners, entrepreneurs, young salespeople, or startup businesses, and even some call centers. This message is specifically for you. Now, I would like you to write some information down so that you can go back into it, go back and watch the video, take some more notes, but more importantly, take action because I'm going to show you how to generate qualified leads that will absolutely convert, a high percent will convert into sales. Now, I'm gonna give you some what if scenarios, okay? What if you know, or you could, or you have absolute control that you can get the right qualified leads without it costing you one dime? I want you to think about that. What if, you can take those qualified leads and worst case scenario, convert 30 to 40% of them on the initial call. What if you can increase your monthly cash flow more than what you have right now? What if you can increase your annual revenue potentially 35 to 60 percent what if bottom line you generate huge profits because of it what if you get an incredible return on your investment these are bold what if questions but it's powerful so if you can do that, is that something you would seriously consider and do? If the answer is yes, let's continue. I got my cheat sheet notes here. Now, there's a call to action that needs to be made. And that call to action must engage your qualified leads or your prospects, those that you're targeting, okay? Now, again, I must emphasize and clear, I'm not against social media platforms. I love them, but I don't allow it to control me. I still combine it with good old fashioned cold calls. Now, I receive a lot of emails, I receive a lot of texts from influencers and other people, and they don't engage me as much as I, I want them to. So I learned what not to do. So here's the thing is, there's several ways to take a call to action and to engage your prospects. One is emails. The other one, which is very popular right now, it's texting, uh, direct messaging. You can do recorded audios and send them out on instant messages or uh, any other email messages. You can do a video recording, and you can also do cold calling. But here's the thing is, 
whether you want to accept this or not, whether you direct message, text message, video message, audio recording, or emails, you should always do a follow call. I'll give you an example. Just today alone on Facebook, people accepted me as their friends. I got 18 today that responded. I did a call to action with them, responding back to them. And out of the 18, 16 were receptive. They were engaged. And I'm having dialogues with some of them. And they will receive a phone call from me next week. So I want you to think about that. Now, the question is, where do you get the best leads? Or where can you get the best leads? You can get the best leads on any social media platform. I believe personally the best qualified leads that you can target and go after are your followers and your subscribers. What we're going to talk about today is how to generate those leads on every platform, whether it's on Google, Yahoo, Bing, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, TikTok, Pinterest, it doesn't matter. Once you know your target and you know who they are, where they're at, the rest is up to you wanting to do it. That's the bottom line. And one thing I've learned also, some people are afraid to take action. Don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. Love it. Learn to do it the right way. And you will see and you will reap the rewards of it, which will revolutionize your business sales. Now, before we dig more into the topic and we get specific, you're watching this on YouTube for the first time, hit the subscription button below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and also share your comments and share the video with others. Now for the introduction. with a question do any of you or do most of you go to a movie theater to watch a movie or watch a movie on cable at home or watch a movie on your cell phone or your laptop or your iPad do any of you do that I'm sure most of you do right what is the initial step or the initial thing that takes place in you that makes you want to watch the movie. If you're going to a theater, it's probably the trailer, right? If you're watching it on your iPad or your cell phone or your computer, it's a little trailer that you might have seen or somebody might have recommended, but you saw something that engaged you to take the next step, right? And what is that engagement? Is an emotional content. There's no ways around that. Because what the eye see and feel, it will do. That simple. The movie producers in Hollywood is a, a masterful at that. Now, the thing is, watching the whole movie, right? This is no different with social media. Is no different with what I'm going to talk about. It's no different in cold calling. It's no different whether you're doing social media, just emailing or texting or direct messaging. The process is the same. So these are three steps. It's going to show you how to not only generate those leads or the qualified leads, but you can convert those leads into sales to revolutionize your business sales. Now, the first part is the most important part, right? If one, you got to be excited. You got to get your prospect excited, right? 
they got to feel or see the trailer that you are showing them, right? In this case, the trailer is your voice. Think about that. Your voice has to paint the picture that they can feel and see. Notice I said feel and see. Because there's only two ways we all buy. We either want something or we need something. That's, there's no in between. When you want something, there's more emotional, more excitement, right? Well, this is what you must do to get your prospect engaged on any social media platform. Whether you're direct messaging, texting, video recording, audio recording, emails, it doesn't matter. The process is the same. But in this case, I will encourage you that you do the cold calling aspect of it. Because I promise you, not only when you get better at it, you're going to see the value in the prospects, more value in the prospect. You're going to build better relationships. You're not going to waste a lot of time on nuances. Because you're going to know who they are and they're going to know who you are, right? So the, one, the, the first thing, step number one, and you may want to write this down. I call it the opening or the initial contact. Okay? The initial contact must have certain ingredients in it. This is how you do it. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, it doesn't matter the platform. It's the process is the same. And on Facebook and Instagram, you got stories that you can do that. So whenever somebody likes your content or they actually, let's say you send somebody Facebook to friend them and they friend you back and they accept your friendship. What you do after that is very critical, especially if you targeted them and you have a service that they need. So there's about four or five ingredients that you need in the, it's called the opening. It's the most important part. It's the trailer that you're putting together. And here's the advantage of social media. Some of them already seen your video or seen your content or your written content or your blogs or whatever the case may be. You have an advantage. Don't wait for it to come to you. Go get it. Again, I want to be specific. I'm speaking to you small business owners, entrepreneur, young salespeople, and, and small businesses. This is something I absolutely recommend you do and have a part of your sales model or your business model. So what are some of the things? Number one is you got to be excited and have enthusiasm on the initial because excitement sells. Enthusiasm is contagious. People like to feel good, don't you? Right? So just think about that. If you believe in what you do, you should be excited to share it. If you truly believe you got something that they need that can help their business, you got to get them to want it. Because if they need it, they're not going to want to buy it. You got to get them to want to own it. It's your job to do that. Also, you build the foundation to the relationship. I believe I set the tone how the relationship is going to go. How you text them, how you email them, when you do the follow-up, what you say, and how you say it. All that is important. I talk about this in my previous video, but I want to get more you know, tight on this. Because social media is a gold mine. Especially with cold calling. And those of you who tell you cold calling is dead, that's nonsense. It's not dead. It's alive and kicking better than ever before. If you want to do it. You also have to build the trust. Because here's the thing is. They may like your content. They may share your content. They may comment. They may like your videos. But when you start to speak with them, you can blow it. You got to earn it. First of all, you earn a little bit of trust just by them liking you and following you. 
But how you have a follow conversation is important. So it's your job to build trust. And you're ahead of the game, especially when you're talking with followers. And don't be afraid to lose followers. Because if they were genuine, they won't leave unless you do something stupid or immoral or whatever the case may be. I don't worry about losing followers. I just don't. They either like what I have and they see it could benefit them or they don't. It's just that kind of drive for me. Number four is you must show and have a high perceived value. If they, they, you know, you won't buy anything from anyone that you don't trust or like, right? You know that product may help you and you know you need it and you want it, but you don't like or trust the person selling it to you, right? It's just the way it is. And always remember this. You have to be emotional. What you say, how you say it is important. That doesn't change. The successful salespeople in the world master that. They just do. Number five is you have to discuss problems they have. The problem may be they may not have enough great lead. They may not have enough sale. They may have their own social media platform. They may be different things. But the two major factors, as I mentioned in the first video, is leads and conversion. So I explained in the previous video why generating qualified leads can revolutionize your business. Now I'm showing you how to do that. You got to make that call. Can't be afraid. Can't be afraid. So, remember this. You're telling a story. You got to be emotional. You got to be excited. You got to earn the trust. You got to do all those things. Because if you're not excited about it, forget about it. You don't even have a chance. Does that make sense? Now you're going to have to transition to the second part, which I call the body or the storytelling. And I don't want to hear that nobody likes to hear a story because you just admitted that you go to the movies or you watch movies on different platforms, right? Why? Because we all like to hear stories. The minute we speak, we want to tell a story. And if it's a good one, then people want to hear it or they want to see it. So we all like story. And there's nothing wrong with stories. Just the stories that are being told today are nonsense and non-productive and uh, dark. So you got to transition to the storytelling, the body of it. This is where 90% of the deal gets solidified or you lose the sale. And write these points down. So let me give you an example. It's like in the body of it, in the storytelling... You're like the doctor and they're the patient. It's about them. You ask questions. You qualify them. You listen. You find out what their true problems are. Right? You're increasing your value. You're making them feel good. You're, 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 you're helping them see that what you have, they need to own. The question is, how do you tell the story? Well, you got to have a mixture of things. How you say the words. How you tell the story. How you ask questions. How you make statements or how you handle objections. That's, that's, that's what the storytelling is. They're the patient. You're the doctor. You got to make sure you have real solutions for them. And that you're going to get them results. And that, you know, you're closing at that time. You have to get them to want to take ownership. And that's within the whole process. You know, the sales process is important. My sales process is the same all the time. Because the foundation doesn't change because it's a strong foundation. So you got to tell the story. And don't be afraid of it. 
That's like uh, the storytelling. You remember, you got the trailer, the opening of it. Then hopefully when you get to the theater or you're putting it on your laptop or your computer or your TV at home or your cell phone, you hopefully from the opening that they got you hooked, excited, that during the movie, you're excited. That you're liking it. You're engaged. You're willing to give your two hours of your time to escape, right? That's what the storytelling, that's what the body is. And don't take it for granted just because they follow you and they like you. That's easy because there's no skin in the game for them. But when the rubber meets the road and you actually are presenting something to them, ah, that's a different story because they're trying to sell you something too, right? Nothing wrong with that. You just got to understand that. So the body is for me is the clothes. So you have to understand your prospect. And when you do the initial call and it's perfect, then you transition to the body of the storytelling. Now, the third one is transition to the close or the conversion. I like call it close, people call it conversion because that's the social media terminology. But at the end of the day is this. It's all about leads and converting and increasing your monthly cash flow, right? But for me personally, it's about value. I don't worry about the credit card. I don't worry about the sale. I worry about the process to the sale. I mastered it. It's what I do. I'm not bragging. It's just the way it is. So the closing is you speak less because you've done all the speaking and the listening, you know, in the the body, in the storytelling. You make it about them. Now they're ready to take ownership. Then you close, you close, you close. Meaning you ask tied down questions. How do you want to do this? How do you want to secure it? How do you want to own this? Visa, MasterCard, Discover, do you want to do a wire transfer? You want to do Zelle? Whatever the case may be. At that point, I call it being ice, cold. That's what you have to do. So that's how you generate these leads and you convert them into sales. For more information and you having a hard time cold calling or you want to learn cold calling and you want to learn it the right way, email me at martialartsofsales at gmail.com. I'll get back with you in 24 hours. I promise you this. If you take the initiative and you start to cold call, you're going to see a big difference. I recommend small businesses or startup companies that, first of all, you as the owner, learn it. And if you have a company ready, hire salespeople that are good and teach them how to cold call. It will benefit you. I promise you that. So, I hope this has been helpful. I want to thank all of you for being part of the martial arts of sales. I do thank you very much for that. Also, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscription button below. Also, hit the notification because I'll have some new videos coming up. And also, share the video and share your comments. I want to thank you again. Till we speak again, I say goodbye.